the 2018 i9 6 core versus a 3.1 uh, gigahertz i7 2017 um, how does that translate to how does this power translate to um, virtual instruments in Logic Pro we're not using the hard drive these are basically uh, all the same settings I'll show you what I have here I have an EXS24 um, and I have a ring shift modulator compressor channel EQ and space designer. Um, for any of you who want to download um, that test, that benchmark test, it's Evans. Benchmark test is pretty standard um, and we can see how far we could push it here. So if you look at this, I got, um, I believe, 86 tracks here and 86 tracks here. We're gonna leave that 13 inch 2017 for uh, another test in the future. So. Excuse my shaky hand here with the camera, but uh, I'm gonna we're gonna look at this in detail. So they're both running right now. They've been circling like this for about 10 minutes, 86 tracks. This is about where the 3.1 gigahertz uh, quad core starts running into issues. And if you look at the allocation here in hyper threading, that's eight cores, eight virtual co cores versus. 12 virtual cores here you see how it's doing so um, what we're gonna look at here really quickly is how that translates into temperature and fan noise before you do that just make sure you're downloading 10.13.6 uh, from the App Store that's a supplemental update just for 2018 MacBook Pros deals with some of the uh, or all of the thermal throttling issue that got discovered on the uh, i9 processors and if you get this at a much later point it might already been applied but look out for that because that changes performance so in terms of fan noise this is a little bit difficult because with this microphone here from the phone you might not hear it but i'm going to tell you one thing the machine on the right the i9 has a higher fan noise let's let's try almost no fan noise so if we look here this is our temperature, the CPU, the GPU is at 60, CPU heatsink, heatsink at 62, and our fans are at a very low 2507, 2705. I had to reduce the track count to 80 uh, because that uh, dashboard here would create a system overload. Here's what we're looking in terms of user CPU. Now, if we go over here, CPU is much less taxed over here, 25, 30. Uh, we have more RAM as well. Uh, everything is the same on the system. Those are, this is a clo cloned system. The fan here is not reporting properly. Uh, that's a ridiculous number. But as you can hear, it's clearly kicking in. It's probably at 5,000 or so, maybe 4,500. That's when they become audible. Um, also, the temperatures are higher. Um, let me try to get here a, a, cl a cleaner shot. It's around six degrees higher on uh, the, the heatsink, uh, CPU heatsink, and the GPU uh, is uh, about the same. They're both around 60. So I'm going to let you compare those stats really quickly. All right. So, the CPU struggles less uh, on the i9, newer generation, but it comes at a heat, it produces more heat, as we kind of know from the feedback that we've gotten from users before. To get the 3.1 gigahertz up to, what's our track count? 88 tracks. Uh, I've, I was able to experiment last night with it up to 90, but I would say like a safe bet is probably you know, somewhere around 80, all right? If you're lucky um, for a while, you can sustain more. It also depends on how fast you're playing because these sounds hit at the exact same time. So your, your CPU spikes happen at the exact same time. As you can see here, we're pretty here uh, maxing out. All right, so let's see how much we can push the i9 for towards. 
This particular exercise, I'm going to hold the phone upside down. I know it's annoying, but let's see how much we can push it. All right, 85, 86. Yep. All right, okay. All right, let me come back when I've clicked off a few more. All right, and I can keep going here. Wow. Look at that. I keep going, I keep going. Very nice. Also, we have Dropbox running in the background, synchronizing those two versions of the track. There's a little bit of something going on in the background. All right, we're at 110. Let me add some tracks. We had 121 tracks at the moment. And here is how that looks like on the cores. No disk in out happening at all because there's nothing on the hard drive. These are all virtual EXS 24s and some plugins. Fans are pretty much at 5,000 if I would uh, take a guess. It's not fully, fully max fans, but it's up there. Um, and so this machine, I tried to do 89 tracks right here, and we got a system overload. Let's try it again. Sometimes you'll get a second chance. Yep. So we can do 88. Let's see if we can enable a few more. Cheat a little bit. Yep. Going up to 90. Oh, so at 90, that's where we're, when we get in show stopped. Um, I'm here at 121, let me try to add a few more. Okay, I'm at 130 tracks right now and I'm really hearing the fans. That's probably 6,000. Listen to that. All right, let's check out the temperature. Let's look, I can't get a clean look here. 76 on the GPU, and a CPU heat sink, heat sink at 64 on a GPU. There's nothing happening in terms of graphics really. And those fan, noises here, uh, fan uh, numbers are incorrect. But you can see here, it starts to drain the battery a tiny bit. We started at 99 or so, and so now it's recalculating that. It does that when computers do that, when they render, when you need a lot of power, um, but that's, um, that's okay. You know, you running this type of performance for that long, we've been running this now for 10 minutes or so, I have been consistently Without stopping, it's pretty rare. We're really peaking the system. After much back and forth, I'm settling here for 134 instances of the situation going on here. This is pretty cool. This is pretty good. 134, look at that. Um, and we're stopping at 90 over there. So that is over 40% difference. And that's basically what the benchmarks are saying. Yeah, you could run a lot with this machine without any dedicated uh, universal audio or so hardware. You can calculate a lot of plugins uh, for your music productions. Pretty awesome. Um, yeah, I, hit me up with any questions. Um, real world mileage may vary.